I wanted a break from the hustle and bustle of YVR's main terminal. Jump on the bus, we're heading to South Terminal. So I jumped on the free shuttle and headed straight down south for a little local love. It is here that you'll find regional air carriers that cover the entire province of British Columbia. You'll also find VIP corporate carriers, fishing charters, and an amazing pub known as the Flying Beaver. YVR Terminal South is located on the south shore of Sea Island, a five minute shuttle away from YVR's main terminal. No sooner did I arrive when I was greeted by the pearly smile of Mr. John Buckle. And our little baby here is the south terminal with uh, approximately about 350,000 passengers going through here in and out. And then the other scheduled services, of course, you just mentioned the float plane operation, about 100,000 passengers a year. So uh, it's, it's substantial. And with Halijet or other scheduled service for airports, so total scheduled services, around 400 to 500,000 passengers a year. Well, so there's, there's a lot happening here today at the South Terminal, isn't there? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday's a busy day for us with uh, crew changes, for instance. Okay, so a lot of the companies that are using um, the services here are taking their crew and they're flying out to the oil fields or different logging or mining camps. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, we're, Tuesdays is a big day for us yeah. uh, for crew changes for some reason. After completing his epic voyage from New York to Paris, aviation icon Charles Lindbergh rejected the idea of flying into Vancouver, stating, there was no fit field to land on. Lindbergh never showed, and his insult motivated city officials to begin construction of the brand new Vancouver Airport. The original Vancouver Airport stood where the South Terminal building stands today. As the aviation world advanced, so did the needs of Vancouver Airport. The late 1950s marked the construction of a new terminal building. And once the construction was complete, the Vancouver Airport moved to its current location, leaving the original terminal for smaller regional carriers. This is how the South Terminal was born. With the expansion of resource projects and tourism across the province, the South Terminal and its service providers have seen a considerable amount of growth. The two newest features of the South Terminal are the Observation Deck and the GRE. The Observation Deck provides the community with an engaging view of all the action on the airfield. We're on the new viewing platform and that'll give the public the opportunity to see the construction of the GRE, the ground runoff and closure. A state-of-the-art facility that reduces engine noise as well as acts as an environmental catchment facility for de-icing chemicals that are sprayed onto the plane before cold flights. I had an awesome time hanging out with John in the South Terminal, but he took me aside and said he needed help with something. What's that? You're not quite finished yet. What do you mean? Time for the windows. You're not finished. Thank you, Mr. Spot, right here. 